so the Expanse has entered Nebulous Fleet Command. The legitimate salvage mod created by AGM114, Mars, Lettuce and Ancient aims to bring the ships of the Expanse into Nebulous Fleet Command. Being the first mod to bring ships into the game, they've gone through a huge amount of effort to understand uh, what they need to do and start to set up and provide that advice to everyone else who's starting to enter into the modding thread within the Discord channel. So let's jump in and have a look at the ship. So if we just scroll around the hull, you can see that they've, they've kept it true to the form from the Expanse. We've even mounted the point defense turrets on it, like in the show. Nice, beautiful glow there from the reactor. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. They've done a really, really good job. So in game, how does it play? Well, it's been classified as a Corvette class, uh, just like the Sprinter, which is one of the original ships within the game. The Morrigan is slightly faster and with a smaller radar signature, but only just and just by a little bit. It's got five mounts as opposed to the four to the Sprinter. Two of them, however, are fixed. It's got four compartments just like the Sprinter and one additional module. And we'll go through this in further detail within the fleet editor. So before we head to the fleet editor, if we just have a quick look at a side-by-side -side comparison, on the left we can see the Sprinter, and on the right we can see the Morrigan. You can see that they have the two same points at the front. Underneath they can both have the same hard points being a size 3, and they also can take a VLS 16 at the front uh, for each one. The difference obviously being uh, there's a, an extra smaller slot which you can equip a VLS 23 as standard. So if we do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, we can see that they're about the same length, the Morrigan being just a little bit thinner. One thing that's being worked on is the ability to, ch to have the Morrigan uh, painted in your custom colors. Uh, the team is working through that uh, and it'll be a future update. So there are three fixed spots on the Morrigan. You got the nose mounted VLS 16 launcher so the only thing i would replace there is maybe a pinard which doesn't need to traverse but also needs to be facing forward towards the enemy so for those opening movements of the game you'd be able to identify where the enemy is and then in the later parts um, you can orientate as required it's also got a, a size 3 fixed component i've put the mls3 launcher for torpedoes on it because it's got fast speed you can get in nice and close to a battleship and lose a salvo you could also use roll off missiles um, or more missiles as everything else requires traversing so all, all your jammers and things such as your point defense and your cannons they're all going to have to orientate to the target so you actually want to uh, limit that by having something that's going to just remain in place now on our top these are the size twos so they're going to be your defender spots or your uh, electronic warfare. So this is where you could put your EW. If you're gonna run a couple Morrigans together, then it could be a couple point defense and maybe one or two carrying uh, blanket jammers and a hang up jammer combo, or even a, a bullseye. And then underneath, you've got your VLS 23 for your chaff or your reposts. Um, either of them are a viable option, um, but again, you don't wanna really remove that because it's a fixed mount. So you're better off just using that in order to carry something defensive. So when we come to the internals of the ship, we have the same amount of compartments as the Sprinter. So we can take a CIC, a magazine, and a berthing, which is probably the minimum that you're going to need. Um, and then you've got the option for one additional compartment. And this could be anything you want. You could take more magazines if you're doing a, a roll off, um, or you could take something such as uh, damage control, which is, is also another good option. Down in modules, um, like the Sprinter, drive, reactor, and a radar, so that leaves you two options. Now these two spots, uh, they're up to you, depending on how you want to play the ship or what build you're going to. You may want to add, add some additional supporting mod modules in here, otherwise you can leave them free and just keep those points down. So with this kind of setup, you're looking at about 373 points, and your power is pretty much bang on. You're moving at 40 meters per second, and you've got a fair degree of acceleration and turn. This is probably, this is by far not an optimized build, just something that I threw together real quickly. Play around with it, see what you come up with, uh, and then how you want to use it in game. So that ends this mod showcase. They've done an absolutely great job of bringing the Morrigan into Nebulous Fleet Command and making it playable. Uh, they are still tweaking things, being the first uh, ship mod of the game, uh, and it's only going to get better with more, more detail as it goes on. So I look forward to seeing the next ship that they can bring uh, to Nebulous Fleet Command.